We continue to preview the 2023 college football season here on Midwest Sports Net, and today our stop is Thomasville, Georgia, and we get to visit with the head coach of the Thomas Nighthawks, Coach Orlando Mitchens, in his first season with the program, and it is the program's first season. Coach, ordinarily, I would talk, say, or say, please talk about the spring and talk about how camp's been going. I do want to ask that question, however. I think that needs to take a back seat for just a second because how you answer the first question really will go a long way toward what this spring camp really means. And that is your program, the Thomas Nighthawks. It's a military transition football team. And if I've explained that, I don't think I've explained it well enough. Let me let you explain it. Okay. And what that well, means. You know, it's, fu it's funny, but uh, I'm still trying to figure it out myself. Uh, but on, uh, you know, say, saying all that, you know, it's, it's young men that have uh, been in the military and served, you know, served our country. And now they're exiting out and now they want to go back and, and get their degrees. And they still have a vision on maybe playing college athletics and, and some want to play football. Uh, and, we're, and we're taking all comers, uh, any young man that wants to come back and play football and fulfill their dreams and, and work on their degrees, we're willing to take them. And then we also have uh, young men that are coming out of high school that are looking to go into the National Guard or the reserves. And we're also looking to take those young men also that also want to play you know, college football. That's fantastic. I, and, and it is unique uh, in Very some unique. ways. And I unique. appreciate that and, and the respect here on Midwest Sportsnet for our military and, and for all the people who are serving for us is so high, and, and I appreciate what you're doing, Coach, in that. Now, with that in mind, mm -hmm. it's your first really full spring. As you were announced as the, the the inaugural head coach back in January of 2022, and I'm sure it's been quite a ride, but tell us how the spring's been this year. Yeah, you know, before I get into the spring, it's, like you said, it's been quite a ride. I'm still sometimes I have to pinch myself to, to say I'm, I'm finally a head coach. It's, it's, I've been waiting for this opportunity for a long time. And then to, to, not to be a head coach at a program like this where you're, you're coaching young men that have, you know, put their lives on the line for us and for and for me and, and my coaching staff to, to be able to do what we do, it's an honor. It's a true honor to, to be able to coach these young men. And uh, I'm enjoying every minute of them, just being around them and, hearing their stories and, and now hopefully, hopefully helping them, you know, reach their dreams of playing college football. But, uh, you know, we started this back in uh, almost a year and three months ago, we started uh, recruiting, you know, young men, uh, veterans and high school players that would maybe had some interest in going into uh, the national guard. And slowly but surely, you know, we started. We started with about ten, and then you next thing you know, we had fifteen. Uh, at the end of uh, the fall semester, we had about twenty young men on campus. Uh, I, and then going into the spring, I just felt that with twenty young men, it will be tough to have a, your traditional spring practice. And being part of the NAIA, they allow you to have, you can have a, a, some form of a spring practice in June. Uh, so what I, we did was uh, we had a nice class coming in, uh, about 60 to 65 young men that will come in on top of the 20 we had. So we felt it would be best to maybe push spring practice to, to June. And as long as those young men were accepted in school, and also had a um, you know, class schedule of 12 hours or more, they were allowed to participate in some form of spring practice. So we felt, let's, let's do it that way. And I was able to get everybody on board on campus uh, to pitch in with housing, uh, have, provide them with a meal plan. You know, different things had to fall in place for us to have this in June because you, as you know, usually in June, all students are gone. This campus is pretty much closed and most summer classes are online these days during the summer. So we had to uh, be able to get a lot, a lot of folks to pitch in and I'm so grateful uh, for the campus of support that we've had and, and they're able to uh, us to have this camp. So we had the camp. It was a total of nine, uh, 10 days and, and it was, 
probably the best 10 days I've had in a long time. You know, it's been a while since I've been on the field coaching, um, since I left the Citadel. Um, so it's been almost a year, uh, over a year that I haven't been on the field and done some form of coaching. So it was great for, for myself and the coaching staff to be on the field and coach young men. And the young men worked hard. And you can see uh, them growing day by day on the field and also growing as a unit off the field. So it was, it was, it was good to see. Coach, did, did all of those that were coming in have prior football experience or were there some that just, you know, say, hey, listen, I'm, 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 I'm doing something different now, but I've always wanted to be in football. I think I have the goods. Can, can I come out and play? I would say the majority of the young men uh, had football experience, either played high school or played in the service because sometimes cer- certain services overseas, they play fo- they have football. And, but I would say we have about, about I'll say about five to six young men that really haven't played football in about five, six years. So this is the first time they've been on the field and had to uh, tackle somebody or catch a football or, or block somebody. So it was, it was, it was great seeing that. And you can see as we went on, like I said, day to day, some of the rust came off some of those young men. We're here on the Summit on Midwest Sportsnet speaking with Coach Orlando Mitchens from Thomas. The Nighthawks getting ready for their first season, the inaugural season of football there in Thomasville, Georgia. And and Coach, with that in mind, uh, do you see any of how it's starting to come together now? Because the schedule, which we'll talk about here in just a moment, will get underway in about two and a half months. Yeah, that's scary. (laughs) (laughs) That's scary. So uh, are you starting to see some things come together? And, and, uh, well, you know, to start with quarterback, do do you have people in mind already? I think, you know, it starts with the support that we we receive on campus. That's when you see it starting to come together. We we got awesome support, and it starts from the top with our president, Dr. Shepard, right down to our AD. You know, Kurt. You know, uh, Swingfield. It comes. It starts right from the top, and then and then it filters down to us, this coaching staff, and uh, and everybody that that has a hand on these young men. Um, yes, it is coming together. I'm starting to see certain players stepping up, doing the little things. Uh, like right now, we you know we done you know our spring practice uh, last week, and you still got guys coming into the weight room. Right now, yesterday was a handful of young men in the weight room working out on their own. Uh, some were outside throwing the ball, running drills on their own. So to me, it's coming together. Uh, now, is it going to come together on September 2nd? We'll, we'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, you bring experience that is, well, pretty much just like the program. It's unique. Uh, as you were talking about, you come from the Citadel there for a number of years. Uh, mm-hmm. You also worked with the Army program mm-hmm. At, mm-hmm. at West Point and working with the Black Knights there. Right. Talk about that experience and how it transitions over to be able to lead these young men now. Well, it, it was it was an honor for me to, to coach at, at West Point. Uh, not only, uh, you know, as everybody knows, West Point has a, it hold, it's hold a high academics. And then on top of that, those are special young men and young women that go to West Point. And then that's also in my backyard. I grew up in New York. Uh, so to be able to coach in my backyard like that, it was an honor. Uh, and then and then years after that, I went to the Citadel, which was also a nice honor. Different type of young man and young woman. Uh, they don't have to serve if they don't want to, uh, but still, they still have the same type of ed- education and the same type of routine as they do at West Point. So it was an honor. And then coaching those young men, it's a, you don't have to coach toughness. You don't have to coach discipline. You, you know, it's all about technique. And some, in some, and in some cases, you, you just got to tell them one time and, and they get it. That that's fantastic. Well, yeah. we mentioned that the, the schedule will get underway pretty quickly. And I know you talked about that September 2nd, it's going to get here. I'm sure almost before you know it coach. So uh, you, the, the season gets underway as you take on the Georgia Warhawks on September 2nd. Right. And then you go to point on September 9th, you travel to Bethel university mm-hmm. after that. Right. And then the sun conference schedule gets underway. So it's a, a strong schedule for you all here in your it is. It, it's, it's, it's a strong schedule because, um, 
number one, we have we've not seen any of them play. Um, so it, it makes it tough. And then, you know, everything I've heard of the Sun Conference, they're all very good teams. Uh, and then the, the, the three non-conference games we're playing, they're going to be tough games. And, and what I've told the coaching staff and what I've told the players is what we have to do, I think, that for us to have some success is for us to be, number one, disciplined. If we're, if we're a disciplined team, we, we, it gives us a chance. If we are the toughest team on the field, that also gives us gives us a chance to, to be successful and we'll work our opponent. If we can outwork them, um, out tough them, uh, we'll, we'll have a chance to be in every game. Now, at the end of the day, will we win? I don't know. Uh, it's, you know, in, in this game, the ball uh, falls in different directions every day. So, hopefully, when the, at the end of the, at the end of the game, the the, it's, the winning scores on, on our side. Well, Coach, uh, listen, there is no doubt we are going to be following you all this season here on Midwest Sports Net. And I just wanted to say I appreciate what these young men are doing and what they're doing for us. And I always like to say I appreciate their service. But to you as well, who have been for so many years now and even within the last year and a half too, mentoring them, blessing them, teaching them. I appreciate your service as well, sir. So thank you. Thank you. So much. I, I, I appreciate you having me on your show here. And uh, like I said, it's uh, it's, a, it's an honor to, to, to be the, the first head coach here at Thomas University. And, uh, you know, I have I have a great group of young men and a, a, a great staff. I'm blessed to have the staff that I have. Uh, and then, you know, I, I didn't get an opportunity to talk to, about our quarterback and he's special. Well, he, please he, was at, he was at West Point. He was at West Point when, uh, when I was there, Chris Carter, and he's he's like having a coach on the field because he knows the system, a little bit of the system. Uh, we're doing some different things than, that we did at West Point, but he kind of has an idea. And he's also played in a lot of big games. He's played in the big games, and that helps. Well, Coach, I, I now listen, I, I, I'm starting to, to wind down, but I don't want to do that. Is there, are there, is there anybody else, anything else that, that you wanted to mention regarding this roster this year? Of course, talking you know, about and, like, and like I said, you know, on, on, um, you know, on offense, you have Chris Carter. Uh, also on offense, you got Cam Bailey, who's a receiver, a local, a local receiver, who's also, you know, opened all of our eyes on and off the field. What a great young man. And then on, on the defensive side, we have uh, AJ Trailer, who uh, followed me here from the Citadel. Uh, great young man, comes from a good family. Um, love him to death. Um, you know, he's he's a second. He plays in the secondary, uh, which, as you know, I'm, I've been a secondary guy for the last 32 years. So I have special uh, feelings for secondary players. Um, so those are the three young men that I think that. They will, will provide us with leadership and and game experience, which helps going into this new season uh, with a bunch of young men that probably have not played college football. I would say on offense, we'll probably start maybe two players on offense that had college experience and maybe one or two on defense with college experience. So we're going to be playing a lot of freshman on the field and that's uh that's going to be a, a fun fun times <laughs> there'll be some fun times <laughs> well okay i i appreciate that coach and and if, to make sure our, uh if, if there's if you are uh comfortable with those names then then i am as well and we look I forward am. to following them so uh, we'll remember them and look forward to following you this season september 2nd I appreciate that underway September 9th and 16th, not more non-conference games, and then the Sun Conference schedule starts on September. I said September 9th and 16th. It's actually September 9th and 24th, and then uh-huh. Kaiser on September 30th. Ooh. Coach, yeah. wow, <laughs> national orders up right there too. So, so yeah, it, don't, it, do, it doesn't get easier. They, no. All those, all those schools in the Sun Conference are very good, well-coached teams. They're all well-coached teams, and and they all play hard. So we we just got to match their intensity. All right. Well, we look forward to it. Coach Orlando Mitchens here on Midwest Sportsnet. Thank you very much, sir, for your time. God bless you. Thank you.